Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick at Bartman HQ. I'd say I'm going to be reviewing Pure Proteins, Natural Whey Protein. So Pure Protein is a base in upstate New York and they're probably best known for their protein bars. They're pretty popular. Um, this is their protein powder um, and it's, pretty, it's also pretty well known for being very inexpensive for a protein powder that has actually no artificial flavors, sweeteners or colors. Uh, so here I've got the rich chocolate flavor. I'm going to see how it tastes with milk. I guess I'd say it tastes quite a bit like pure cocoa powder, um, and by that I mean it's really not sweet. Um, which is fast, it says no artificial sweetness or colors or anything like that, but it does, even though it contains stevia, um, yeah, it's not very sweet. It's a very um, sort of earthy, um, a little bit bitter sort of cocoa type flavor. Um, I would say it's probably even a little bit more bitter than, than, than normal cocoa flavored products. So uh, if you like your chocolate products really, really sweet, uh, I'd stay clear of it, but if you like a more natural sort of flavor, like more cocoa-y, um, it might be the flavor for you. Okay, so now I'm gonna see how it tastes with water. Yeah, it, um, it mixes very well. Um, it's a bit frothy, which some people don't like. Um, and when mixed with water, yeah, it tastes like water mixed with cocoa powder. Um, and to be honest, the that background bitterness that I mentioned before, it's kind of still hanging around my mouth from the first shake that I tried. Um, so this, it does stay in your mouth for a while, uh, even though it's, it is naturally sweetened. So let's take a look at the nutrition. Um, one scoop uh, is about 130 calories. And for that, you are going to get 23 grams of protein, five grams of carbohydrates, uh, no fiber, three grams of sugar, um, and two grams of fat, uh, one of which is saturated fat. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty pretty regular sort of um, macro split for protein powder, a little bit high in carbohydrates, um, and a little bit high in sugar, if that's a concern for you. Um, uh, besides that, we get 11% of your daily calcium in one scoop, which is like maybe slightly below normal, but like still a decent amount. Um, a tiny bit of iron, um, yeah, otherwise it's not much to write home about. As far as sodium goes, it's 55 milligrams, so it's 2% of daily intake, so it's not too bad. Um, and cholesterol is about middle of the road, you get 40 milligrams or 13% of your daily intake. Um, so if you are watching out for cholesterol in your diet, <clears throat> that's something to be mindful of. So let's check out the ingredients. Um, again, obviously this is natural whey protein, nothing artificial in it. Um, so the first ingredient is of course a protein blend, the first ingredient of which is whey concentrate. That's the cheapest form of whey and that's probably why it's such an inexpensive powder. Um, so it's whey protein concentrate and whey protein isolate, which is like a lower calorie version. Uh, whey protein concentrate, concentrate is pretty well known for having like the highest levels of fat out of all the forms of whey protein. So something to keep in mind. Um, besides that, you got cocoa, um, which we tasted earlier. Fructose, um, which I would imagine they included just to sweeten it a little bit. That's a type of sugar. Um, natural flavors, uh, soy lecithin, that's to help mixability. And stevia extract, that's a sweetener made from the stevia leaf. Um, things to point out here, it does contain soy, if that's an issue for you. Um, it contains fructose, if that's an issue for you. It probably isn't, but some people like really don't like fructose. Uh, and it's also worth pointing out that there's no, there are no digestive enzymes in this, even though it contains five grams of carbs and three grams of sugar. So there's probably, there is lactose in this product, and there's no enzymes like lactase or, or aminogen or anything like that. So if you have digestive problems from lactose or just generally from consuming protein powders, you might want to stay clear. So as far as price goes, um, this is about the biggest size available right now. Uh, this is 1.6 pounds. On Amazon.com, it's like between $18 and $22 uh, per tub. Uh, on the website itself, the, on Pure Protein's website, it's $27. I'm not really sure why there's a price difference, but I'm just gonna say it's $20. So $20 for 1.6 pounds, that's gonna get you 22 servings. So that winds up at being about uh, 90 cents a serving, which is also like 3.9 cents per gram of protein if you want to get really granular. Um, now for a small tub, this, this being like a, a little under two pounds, for a tub this size, it's actually pretty reasonably priced, uh, particularly when you remember that it has uh, no artificial ingredients, um, which, uh, which would normally make a product more expensive. So what I liked about Pure Protein is that it's very inexpensive, um, particularly for a product that is free of artificial anything, um, which is the main selling point, and it is something that really deserves highlighting in this product. 
Um, so the fact that it has no artificial ingredients means there's no sucralose, there's no acesulfame potassium, which a lot of people take a, take issue with. Um, yeah, there's no there's no gluten either. So if you are looking, if your biggest priority is a natural protein powder, and for a lot of people it is, um, this definitely fits the bill and uh, for a pretty cheap price as well. Uh, what I didn't quite like so much about pure protein is that I, I honestly, I really didn't like the taste. Um, even though it has stevia, I found it to be very bitter. Um, in addition to that, it doesn't have any, uh, it doesn't have any digestive enzymes and it contains lactose, so that could cause uh, problems for a lot of people. Um, it also contains soy, which also you might take issue with. Um, so those are the biggest cons I found with the product. Okay, so those are my thoughts on Pure Protein's chocolate flavor. Uh, for the full review, you can check out the link below at barbend.com.